Considering how fast it sold out last time, I wouldn't even watch this video to the end. Hello, welcome to Swiss Watch Game. Today we're going to talk about a brand you saw on my channel before. We featured two of their watches already, which you all loved and they were sold out pretty quickly. Today's video is a partnership with Louis Erard and the latest collaboration with Alain Zilberstein. Today I'm also wearing my Louis Rar Vianney Halter collaboration watch, which was sold out I think in about 5 or 6 hours back then. And this new collaboration being limited as the other one, the same will happen. The first collaboration with Alain Zilberstein, Louis Rar made in 2019 with the black and the white version, which were quickly sold out. The collaboration with Alain Zilberstein and Vianney Halter fetched double the retail price on Chrono 24, which I think is remarkable if you think about this small independent brand based in Jura, Switzerland. This time around they created three different dials with three different movements. All of them are limited to 178 pieces, but the main thing is you can buy this collector box, which actually is limited to 78 pieces and you get all three together. What you also get with the collector box is all of the paperwork with it and the cards for the warranty and the, you know, servicing. And also what's very cool, you get a USB key, which actually features a NFT a non-fungible token, Alain Zilberstein art piece which is signed and you can also customize it. That proves your watch's authenticity and the collection. If you want to buy the collector's box or how they call it Le Triptyque, you have to pay 11,111 Swiss francs. If you want to buy them all separately, you have to pay 11,500 Swiss francs. So if you get the box and you like all three of them, get the Triptyque and you save up 380 Swiss francs. Alain Zilberstein was born in 1950, he began his career as an interior designer and also architect, but slowly transitioned into watches. He then moved to Besançon, France in the 1980s and established his own company. Alain Zilberstein watches were always well known to be quirky watches, very fun, vibrant. He used also different complications from chronographs to tourbillons and just a simple time only display. Alain Zilberstein's design is inspired by the Bauhaus design movement which started in the 1920s in Germany and its primary colors are red, blue and yellow, and they love to use geometrical shapes and minimalism. The first Alan Zilberstein collaboration with the black dial and the black case was actually nominated for the GPAG award in 2020, and in 2021 they won the Product Design Red Dot Award. Let me now explain to you the differences between all these watches. They have a few commonalities like the case and the strap, but the dials and the movements are different. Together we'll discover all the three different dials and you'll see the details of them. So the far left we have the La Semaine, which means the week. It basically shows you the days of the week, which we'll get to a bit later. The middle one is Le Regulateur, which means a regulator style watch, as you saw in the first version of Alain Zilberstein's collaboration. And last but definitely not least is Le Chrono Monopoussoir, which is a monopusher chronograph, which I'm very excited about. What all of these three have in common is the case design and the straps. The dials are different though. Let's start with the La Semaine and you'll see what's really cool about this one. This model as well as the Mono Pusher are not the regulator style watches like you've seen in the first Alain Zilberstein collaboration with Louis Erard. You have a normal hour hand, minute hand and seconds hand. I say normal but here it's reinterpreted a bit quirky. The red lacquered hour hand is actually made out of a big circle with a triangle at the end to point to the hours. The long blue minute hand looks like an arrow and is blue lacquered and you have a yellow lacquered squiggly seconds hand, which is super cool. And again, something that reminds you of Alan Zilberstein and his previous collections. The minute and the hour track are yellow and applied, and in this one, they're not on the same level as on the first editions. So the whole minute track is applied on the dial. At six o'clock, you have the date indication, which is pretty cool, so it's a bit balanced with the top inscriptions, and you have something very special here at six o'clock as well. Using smileys to show the day of the week is something Alan Zilberstein is known for, and you can see it in his past creations. Let me now show you how to navigate the smileys and actually how to read the day of the week. So you have to pull out the crown to the first position and then you turn it anti-clockwise. Then you see the smiley faces change. They are happy now, they are super happy now. So it's very easy to navigate once you get used to it. There's two red smiley faces and five black ones. So the first red is actually Saturday he's happy. Sunday, he's even happier. And then when Monday comes around, he's miserable. And then Tuesday, he's less miserable. Wednesday, he's not sure. Thursday, he's eh, undecided. And then there's Friday, happy camper. And then the weekend comes around. So this is how you actually you know, navigate the day of the week. I think it's super fun. 
All of the three watches have an open case spec where you can see the movement. In the Semen you have the ETA 2836-2 movement, which is a power reserve of 38 hours, a nice workhorse movement that anybody can service. The case pack is also micro bead blasted, grade 2 titanium, the same as the front is, and the side of the case, as on the other ones, is grade 5 titanium and polished. The crown is red lacquered with the Louis R logo on it. The next one I want to go to is the Le Regulateur. It's actually the regulator style dial, which you also seen in the first version, but there are some changes. If you remember the first one, it had a long yellow minute hand and the squiggly seconds hand on the sub dial for the seconds was actually blue. It also had a power reserve indicator at 9 o'clock, which this one doesn't have. The whole minute track, as well as on the La Samaine and also on the Mono Pusher, are applied on the dial, as opposed to the separate indexes, which you've seen in the first models. This is your typical regulator style watch, it's very legible. You have a separate sub dial for the hours, which is here at 12 o'clock, pointing with the red lacquer triangle. The seconds hand are indicated here on the sub dial at 6 o'clock, and the long blue lacquered arrow is actually for your minutes. So if we read the time now, it's actually 10 o'clock and 8 minutes. Let me turn the crown a bit so you guys can see a different time example. It's really cool how this works, I think. It looks super awesome. Now we change the time, here we go. Okay, so now we have 3 o'clock, as you can see on the top subdial, and you have 25 minutes. So 3 o'clock, 25, and 10 seconds. The whole case is super light, like on the other ones, made out of titanium. The polished parts with the lugs in the side of the case is actually grade 5 titanium, and the micro bead blasted front side and the case pack are actually grade 2 titanium. The regulator watch has a different movement than the day of the week one. With the other one you have an Eta movement, in this one you have a Salita movement. A good workhorse movement, which basically anybody can repair. And you have, like on all of them, the Luera Rogo on the automatic winding rotor. The limited edition of all these watches is the same, and there's no special numbers here. All of them are written 1 of 178. And last but not least, my favorite from this whole collector's box is the beautiful Mono Pusher Chronograph. This one I like a lot because of a few different things. The first thing I like about it is the time indication is very easy to read. So you only have the hour and the minute hand. The hour and the minute hand are the same as on the cement watch, red and blue lacquered. And you have a sub dial here at 12 o'clock, which is actually just for the mono pusher chronograph. The squiggly yellow hand here, which uh, on the other one shows the seconds. In this one it actually shows the chronograph seconds. To activate the chronograph, you just use this very cool pusher here. It's actually made out of an ABS composite and it's very specific to Alan Zilberstein. How to use a mono pusher versus the normal chronograph is very easy. Usually you have two pushers here to start and stop and reset the chrono. Here you have only one. So you start it and then the squiggly yellow seconds hand starts running. You stop it again with the same pusher and then you reset it again with the same one. Here we go. Very cool, very easy. And the time is very legible because you have just two hands to read it. The case is the same as with the other ones. Titanium. Again, I gotta tell you guys, this watch is super comfortable to wear. I know the case looks a bit clumsy and thick. The opposite is the fact. The diameter of all three watches is 40 millimeters. The lug width is 22 millimeters. Lug to lug, the watch measures 47 millimeters. And the thickness of the case is 13.9 millimeters. The case is made of two pieces and on both sides you have a sapphire crystal. All the cases are actually water resistant to 100 meters or 10 bar. The case back here is also opened. We have a bigger opening than on the other ones because the movement is bigger. You can see the mono pusher chronograph movement here, which is actually from Celita. And the automatic winding rotor has the Louis R logo on it as well. A few descriptions of the case pack, which is screwed in. And it says it's one of 178 pieces, like on the other ones. Let me now put the watch on the wrist so you see how it fits me. I just have to take off my Vianney Halter piece here. Here we go. The strap is actually very comfortable. It's black nylon. This part is made out of micro bead blast grade 2 titanium, like the cases. It's so called hook and loops folding system, which again on the wrist is very nice and sporty. You just have to basically tuck it in like this. And if you have a bigger or a smaller wrist, it's no problem because it can adapt. You can see how this watch fits my 18.1 cm wrist size and this crown, although it sticks out a bit, doesn't interfere with my wrist because I put the watch a bit back. This strap is very adjustable and super comfortable like I said. It can fit on wrists as small as 14 and as big as 20 cm. Let's now also stop the chronograph and read the time. You stop it with one push of the pusher, 
here we go. Now we have 9 minutes on the sub dial here and 14 seconds. And to reset the chronograph, just press the pusher again. And it's gonna go back to zero. Here we go, very instantaneous. And reading the time, super easy. It's 20 minutes past 10 o'clock. If you wanna buy this watch, I also put the link in the description where you can do that. The Mono Pusher costs 4,500 Swiss francs and the Semen and the Regulator both cost 3.5 thousand Swiss francs. If you wanna buy the collector's box, which again is a good deal, you have to pay 11,111 francs. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about these watches and which is your favorite one. Do you wanna buy the Le Semen, Regulator or maybe the Mono Pusher or just the whole collector's box? Share this video with somebody who likes Louis Rar and Alex Zibersham watches and maybe missed out on the first launch. And also leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and as always, I'll see you next week.